In this video, I am going to show you how to make a Gantt chart in Google Sheets. A Gantt chart is a type of chart that is used in project management and it's used in project planning. It is a type of visualization that shows the start and finish dates for the various elements of a project. It has a list of tasks and bars that represent the progress of each task. And so that is what I will be creating in this video. There's two different ways that I'm going to show for doing this. The one is just creating a simple one using a stacked bar chart in Google Sheets. The other is using their built-in template. And so both methods are good. The first method I'm going to show is just using a stacked bar chart to create a Gantt chart. And so what we need to do for this is first we need to have our data inside of our spreadsheet that we're going to use to create the chart with. So here I have these various tasks listed out and I have start dates and end dates. And so this is what I'm going to use to create my chart with. Now the next thing we need to do is duplicate our table. I'm just going to paste the format, not the actual values in the table. And then what I'm going to do is I will copy and paste this and I'll change these headers to start and duration. Now what we need to do is do a formula that will represent the day each task starts on and the duration of each task. So what I'm going to do in this column is I'm going to enter this formula. Integer of whoops. We're going to go B2 minus we're going to go cell B2 again. This time I'm going to press F4 on my keyboard to lock this in place. And I need to change the formatting of this because um, I don't want this to be a date anymore. So we're going to do automatic. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this formula and paste it down my spreadsheet. So this is going to be the day that each task starts on. That is what this formula is calculating. Now what I need to do is a formula for the duration of each task. And so that is just going to be C2 minus B2. And so then you can copy this formula and paste it all the way down. So I started with my dates that the tasks will start and end on. And then I've done these formulas here to calculate the start day and the duration of each task. And so once I have this in my spreadsheet, then I can create my chart with it. So what you want to do is highlight your data just the second one. I don't need this first one anymore. And then insert chart. So sometimes it's already going to be on a stacked bar chart. Other times you will have to select it from the options here. Now, once we have our stacked bar chart created, we are going to want to customize it. So the first thing that I want to do is come to the series section and I'm gonna do this first series, start. What I wanna do is I want these blue lines to disappear basically, because they don't need to be here in this chart. And so what you can do is you can either set the color to white or you can set the opacity to 0%. And so I've done that and now um, the chart looks a little more like I want it to. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna remove this legend here so what I'm going to do is navigate to the legend section and select none. And then I want to rename my chart. So what I'm going to do is come to chart and access titles. Instead of start and duration, I'll just change that to project schedule. And that is how to create a basic Gantt chart in Google Sheets. So you can see this one is very simple. 
It has a bar that represents the, the start date as well as the duration of each task and then when the next one starts. So this is creating your own very basic Gantt chart using a stacked bar chart. The other option, um, which I said earlier, was using the built-in template. And so that is what I'm going to show now. So if you prefer to use the built-in template in Google Sheets to create a Gantt chart, what you wanna do is open your spreadsheet. And then we're gonna go into the top here, File, New, From Template Gallery. And so this is going to open up all of the different templates that you can use. And what you wanna do is navigate down to the Project Management, management section. And here you will find an option for Gantt chart. And so you can just select this and it will open up the Gantt chart template. So this one has a lot more columns and a lot more data than the one we have created. Um, so if you want one that has more information and is a little bit more complex, this is a good option. Um, so you have a lot of different ways you can customize this one. But since there is a built-in template, it's very easy to just open this and begin editing. So some people prefer to use this method than the previous method, but ultimately it is up to you. So that is it for this video. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.